Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. As you may be able to tell, <laughs> this game has gotten really hard. We are dying so easy. The last two characters I brought into the castle were killed in just three swings. And, and I'm not even kidding. I had a decent little little bit of a mage run going on and then literally two attacks hit me for a thousand damage. Looks like there might be a bonus chest underneath me to the right here. Oh, that shredded. Cool. What? So we're going to have to bring in our A game and we may have to bring in our A game for the foreseeable future. I am, however, going to level up our intelligence here. Uh, specifically because we do have our maxed out four out of four soul steel rune which is giving me health back every time we defeat an enemy and that does scale with our intelligence so pumping a little bit into that could go a long way the Kraglulian plateau is our destination and we are playing as lady kimberly the fifth right now a Ronin with an extremely good spell, the Searing Shot, which can allow her to attack through walls and more importantly, defeat enemies that normally cause a lot of problems for Ronins. Those enemies that block four hits of damage before they take damage, well, all of a sudden, that's not that big of a deal. Your weapon deals 100% more damage, but has a two second cooldown. We already have a pretty long cooldown with our swings, to be honest. Will two seconds feel bad? Oh, two seconds feels bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cam confirmed, two seconds feels bad. We'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. If we can find our openings, this could be a really good pickup for us. And considering we're doing 700 damage a swing on non-crits, I don't feel that bad about this. There you can see that wolf running into us. The action of running alone was enough to deal 200. Ah! Why didn't you come out of the ground the first time I came through here? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Two hits, two hits, and we're at a third of our health bar. That's all it took. Absolutely insane the amount of damage these guys are dishing out. Although it looks like we have another relic room here. Uh, you're, you're gained 200 mana when hurt, and mana gained can overcharge. I don't think that really matters to me. Not something I'm super worried about right now anyway. We have had some exciting news since our last video. The developers have tweeted out some new upcoming changes to the game. Environmental burdens are going to be a thing in this zone as well. If you saw our progress through Axis Mundi, you know that we were having <laughs> uh, cannonballs descend upon our character constantly. Well, this area is going to get a similar themed burden. These icicles that you see here are going to be expanding in rooms until you destroy them. So you have to like break into the room and actually start interacting with the environment before it just gets completely overtaken. Is that going to be fun? I mean, probably. The last one was pretty fun. It was fun I didn't know I wanted, you know what I mean? <laughs> Something at the top of this room has been sending down a lot of seekers and I am ready to put an end to it if I can. 160 damage there. We are going to phase through. And, oh, I can't drop down. Oh my God. Oh my God. They also said that they're about 70% of the way done with the next patch, meaning we are actually getting close to the day that we can fight the final boss. And how exciting is that? This is Lady Jane IV with the antique of the Ivory Seed, allowing her to create a platform if she does an aerial recovery. Uh, just like that. And then if we're on the platform, we do poison damage as well, allowing us to explode our enemies into a green mist. Uh, let's just send a fireball forward here, get this off to a good start. We get the dash through to finish off these two enemies. I'm trying to really... Um, size up my opponents before I go in, yet I'm still just dashing into their forehead. This character does have quite a lot more HP compared to the Ronin that we were just playing. Actually double the HP of our previous Ronin. This enemy is a little scary. We are going to get that big explosion. Reset on accident, but that's okay. We'll just start the explosion again. The javelin throw should go right over my head. Indeed, it does. Tried to freeze her to avoid that damage and dash away, but it turns out that's not how that works. Damn. 
Uh, and not to mention that was an armor shredding enemy. So we are now weaker than we were before. Missing, I, I want to say like 16 armor from that shred. Yikes. Now the barbarian does have the fantastic ability of totally shredding projectiles, freezing them in the air, freezing opponents in the air on their Y ability. Fantastic. However, in order to recharge this, we have to take damage. We could be kind of tactical about this. Oh, I'm not going in that room. <laughs> With the way things are right now, traps actually deal less damage than just about any adversary we could hope to go up against. So if I set myself up for success by taking damage from traps, that's only gonna be 73. Whereas the explosion from that enemy was a whopping 500 or something, ridiculous amount. Uh, so we might try to uh, <laughs> take some tactical damage here or there. That was not one of the cases, but you know what? That should be fine. Just that bat running into us was almost 200 damage there. I kind of think there's gonna be a zombie on this platform. Indeed, there is. He runs into me and gets taken down. Let's get rid of that red area. Try to dash in here, perfectly done. We're getting 43 HP back per kill now, which feels pretty fantastic. That food giving us 177 back as well. Slipped off the edge of that platform, but that's okay because we just reset our ability anyway. I wish I could say all of these were on purpose, but of course they are not. I've had a really trying week. Really, really difficult week. And to top things off, uh, yesterday, it, I don't know what happened. I don't know what was the problem. But after we ate dinner, I was like, you know, I'm not feeling very good. And I just went and threw up all of it. I don't know why. Me and Holly ate the exact same thing. Just something in my body did not agree with me. And it sucks. So I spent all day just trying to relax, trying to drink as many fluids as I can, try to stay hydrated. And I wish I could tell you I felt better, but still feeling... A little off today. A little off today. We have a really interesting layout. I'm kind of thinking the way forward might be this room all the way back there. We seem to have reached a dead end on the right side. Normally the boss is, that goes over my head, good. Normally the boss is off to the right inside of this zone. I think that's still the case, even with the burdens that increase the size of the castle. I'm pretty sure that's still the case. But how do we actually find the path that goes over to the right? That's a great question. This guy's gonna continuously send out seekers. Let's sit here for a brief moment, get out of the way of that attack. You know, I actually couldn't see the projection of that attack. I just, my internal timer, <laughs> my spider sense was going off. I don't know if it's just, I mean, I, this zone is really bright at the end of the day. Fireball into the back there is going to set us off with some good damage at the start. We can outrange the rest of those abilities, send in another fireball to get that explosion going. And then we should be able to finish him off before another explosion happens. Swo! Very weird layout today. I would not have found this at all. Good thing we were being thorough. Inside of a normal chest, we also find the Warden Capes plus three. Okay, so now that we know where this is, now that we know where our guaranteed 100% health when we go through the door is, we can be a little adventurous. Maybe we look for some relics to help us on the boss fight. If we could find some of those nearby, that could be really good. Ice Mage running directly into me is gonna deal that damage. But again, if we go in the boss room, if we make it back, that is a full 100% heal. No questions asked. Let's disable this red area, that shield going underneath us. We could sit underneath this spectral mage and then wait for it, wait for it. Dash into the shield for some critical hits. He's about to start ping-ponging off the walls, but it looks like we are A-OK. -okay. And we find 30,000 gold sitting in, well, not, I mean total, not in that chest. <laughs> we find money in that gold and all of our money put together totals 30,000 gold. Very eloquently said, ouch. 112 damage, that means those do a little bit more than spikes. And just for good measure, you know, let's just chest it twice. Yeah, that was 112 damage again. That's that's for sure, that didn't change. 
back in this weird forking room in the center. I don't think I realized it had a chest at the tippy top of it while we were in here. Let's see if we can try to get that. We could use our barbarian shout. Man, how nice would it be to have infinite double jumps to get up to the top here? Okay, I'm just going to remove these and then try to wiggle our way up there. 73 damage, not that bad. Not that big of a deal. We'll take that hit for the 2,000 gold gem inside of that chest. Looking to the right, we have a uh, Seeker Shooting Ghost. I hope he doesn't walk out of my platform. Seeker Shooting Wolf. Damn, he did walk out of my platform. That's okay, we took him down. Uh, to the right. Ah, I see it. We can break through the wall here. Hopefully there's no enemies that would cause me to attack. No, indeed there are not. And we find the Scholar Weapon. Plus four. Big damage there from that bat as he's moving in. Didn't actually take him down either. Fighting in a really awkward spot. Oh, that platform proving to be more of a detriment there than an actual benefit. Yeah, we may have to call this quits. I don't think the shield's gonna bounce too much more. We can get some crits in on it. A little bit of HP back. Lose no health is the challenge. Hmm. Dual bolts just gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna have to hit these guys in the feet and then we'll get up there and we'll try to figure out what to do with the starfish. This is actually a really nice room for restoring some of my HP here as well. A much needed restore, restoration of my HP. Uh, transfer to the top is on the left, nice and slow. Take no damage is in effect. That's gonna be a diagonal shot. The next goes above my head. That's a straight shot. Diagonal shouldn't hit me and we can hit from here. Now, opening the chest, we find <gasps> lifesteal rune number four. That is max lifesteal. We have it. Defeat all enemies, lose no health is the challenge. Uh, uh, freeze, spin. Oh shit. I still have to fight these guys because I'm gonna need to restore some of that HP that we lost. Almost got it, that's okay. That we did a chest on the far side of the room, ice mage blocking the path as well as a skeleton mage sending out some seekers. Those didn't quite work out for it. Ice mage didn't fare too much better, although he was protecting absolutely nothing here. We need to drop down and go this way. A couple starfish with overlapping spells here. We do take some damage on the way down, but a single one shouldn't be that hard, especially with diagonal shots. Mage here, we're going to have to dodge quite a ways to get away from that arrow trap. And, oh, I thought that was gonna be sick. The arrow trap already resetting was a little bit of a surprise. This one already resetting as well, but we could just push right out of this room. Really weird layout today. Kind of surprised we haven't stumbled across any of those relics that we're searching for, but 42,000 gold into the family's coffers is gonna buy quite a few intelligence upgrades. Those things were super cheap, bro. Extremely cheap. Good damage there on that plant. I actually wanna check out this area above first. Oh. Uh. I don't, I don't think I want that. I'm assuming we can remove the resonating projectiles that the boss is gonna send at us. I don't know that for sure. I've never brought a bar, uh, not in recent memory anyway. I don't think I've brought a barbarian into that boss fight. Here we go. This is the opening I needed, perfect. Inside a regular chest, yet again, we find the ammonite weapon. That armor set boasts a hefty amount of armor. That's its bonus. Plan stop shooting, so we'll go in here for some free damage. Blue mage is going to feel the wrath of my triple jump. This guy firing out some seekers puts me in a weird spot with the plant that's about to push forward, but we can get to the other side of him, no problem. Looks like we have another secret chest underneath us, but where is the entrance? It's right here. Uh, oh, just barely, just barely hit that. I know I could use my shout to open those things. We could use the barbarian shout. But I feel like, um, I don't want to. Just like, I kind of want to take that apple. But okay, here we go, finally. I don't remember what this effect does. Let's find out together. 
While below 50% health, deal 20% more weapon and spell damage. Sure. That's a pretty cheap resolve cost to make that happen. There should be th uh, three total of these rooms. So two more rooms in here somewhere where we might be able to pick up some beneficial relics for the boss fight. I want to go in swinging. You know what I mean? I want to go in with as much damage as I could possibly bring. Oh, fuck. That was really not good. That was not good. All we had to do was not attack inside of the red area. And like, how many minutes have I been playing this character now? And I totally forgot. We just keep spinning. Mm. Hey, bud, you just uh, relaxing in here? Hey, I should go check. I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen. But is there a relic in here? No, not there. What about the back? Nope. Okay, I'm not going to take the extra damage because that's way too sketchy. I would only have 300 HP and that's like one shotable here. And I want to keep exploring looking for more relics. And I think relics could give me potentially more damage uh, and more of a benefit than what 200 more HP would. Remember on this difficulty, 200 HP is next to nothing. A sneeze can do 200 HP. Trap steal 75. I mean, that's a few trap damage hits, but not much of anything else. Oh, uh, we do find another relic room, and this is a good one. The Voltaic Circlet. Although it doesn't really help us with... Oh, yeah, it does. Never mind. I was mixing this up with the one that does the chains. This one, whenever we deal damage, is just going to give us a lightning aura around our character. So it actually kind of doubles up our... It almost exactly matches the spin of our character. So we're just doing more DPS for just existing. Nice. We've almost seen all of the castle i just jumped into this room connecting from that room i'm expecting to find one more relic but maybe i'm making that up i wanted to say that there were three lily rooms and you just had to collect two i guess we'll find out pretty fast if i'm right or wrong yeah here it is here it is Ooh. Uh, this is way more damage, but we take more damage, too. Uh, probably... Probably not worth it for me. I don't quite have the boss fight down that well yet. And with 56,000, almost 57,000 gold in our pockets, let's go in for our boss attempt for today. Maybe I should have taken that additional health. Hopefully we don't <laughs> regret it. Now, I remember the platforms are different. There's more resonating enemies that we might have to deal with. But a spin to win barbarian should do pretty well here. That scream allows us to remove projectiles. Ooh, I wonder how much damage that scroll does compared to the boss. That might be something worth considering. Do we take trap damage here or do we take boss damage here? I'm not able to remove projectiles again until we take damage. Well, now we know the answer. That was 114, which isn't too shabby, actually. Let's make sure we're not trapped inside of the heart trap. Also, make sure that we're spending our mana whenever we can, because it comes back. And Fireball does quite a lot of damage, especially adding up over time. Easy move out of that dash. We'll sit over here on this side. Okay, so I was a little confused by that attack last time. It seems like we simply need to let the boss charge away, and then we can, like, go the other direction. Wherever she's charging, we get away from it. New Seeker's coming out. Let's give him the boop. We are good to go. Boss is charging. We move away. That gives us plenty of time to... <laughs> Walk directly into that spell effect, obviously. Heart trap coming in. We also have the scroll going off on the right. That's kind of scary. Just barely landing on the platform there. Uh, we're about to hit phase two. We're doing pretty good damage so far. I am kind of stuck juggling in the air. That platform is kind of weird, the fact that it doesn't fade. Fireball off, but did miss. And phase two is here. We're back to full mana. Let's get this to explode. We do have the red zones that we have to turn off, but not one at the top of the screen. So I'm going to try to just stay maybe on the left side this time. I usually play on the right side. Ooh, that wasn't that wasn't very smooth. 
Fireballs coming out. We should be totally protected from those. Let's not do anything. Disable this area and then continue fighting. I did not run away this time. Our health isn't great, but it's okay. Heart trap blocking that side of the room. I think we just transition over to this side of the room. Let's get that scroll to blow up right away. Ads coming out. One quick boop. Removed most of them. Fireball hit the platform instead of the boss, but that fireball was a little bit better. I'm going to shout here to remove those. Unfortunately, the red area came back. Uh, we can shout again if we need it. Poison damage here because our platform is in a good spot. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I tried to milk that for as much as I could, and I think I did a pretty good job there. Disable the red area. Send a fireball. Projectiles coming in from the left side. We have to dash, uh, jump, and then dash. I can't talk. You know what I meant. Downward attack and then dash. Crits there. Oh, that area just came back. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Disable. We have, like, one more hit we can take here. Freeze! Oh, my God. Did the freeze kill it? Stop attacking. I don't want this. And I need to get off that platform. I don't want that scroll to come back and kill me. But the estuary has been defeated. Uh, that was attempt number three at this boss. And let's gobble up all the goodies inside. That brings our total up to 74,000 gold for this zone. Really, really nice takeaway from this area today. Was that a full clear as well? Not quite. Not quite, but it was close. It was really close. Nonetheless, I think it's time. Lady Jane the Fourth with her ivy seed and fireball. Did a great job today and can retire. <laughs> 79 enemies killed. Felt like a lot more than that, I gotta be honest. Felt like a heck of a lot more than that. Uh, next, we're gonna be going into the Stygian study again. We should be able to knock out that zone relatively well, however, when in doubt, Valkyrie out. Being able to remove projectiles, really, really, really strong. Barbarians continuing their streak of being fantastic boss killers. Who would have guessed? Before I spend any money, let's make sure that we can equip this. We cannot. This is our new lifesteal rune. We're going to need one more rune weight upgrade. It's going to cost us 34,000 gold. That was half of our earnings. But now this is the maximum ever we're going to get. It will continue to scale, but this is the maximum. No more runes for lifesteal. That'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting. Let's top off our health. Uh, we can get this one as well. And we ended up at a nice even level. Look at that. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again soon. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, please just be patient with me. I'm trying. We'll get back on a reliable schedule here soon. And we're also going to start um, swapping in for another series in these morning slots. Every other day will be Rogue Legacy once we get back up to speed. But I think you guys are going to be excited about the other series. Let's just put it that way.